Hey there, Max back again. Here's your opportunity to put your electronics and Arduino skills into practice in making the perfect little DIY birthday gift for a friend, family member, or even your physics teacher. With only a few minutes of your time, a spare Arduino board and some other components, you can assemble an electronic music box that plays the happy birthday melody you just heard before. This tiny thing happened to get quite some attention on my Instagram page, and that motivated me to give you guys the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make the little gadget. So let's make it happen. Laid out on the table, we've got all of the parts and components needed for the project. We'll also need the following parts and supplies for making the device's charger. So taking a tiny breadboard, let's push in the Arduino Nano microcontroller into place followed by three piezo buzzers. These ones are specifically known as passive buzzers which are able to produce different tones, unlike the single tone active buzzers not to get confused with. These will be our speakers, each playing their own role in producing a more dynamic sounding birthday melody through polyphony. This jumper we place here is to connect the first buzzer's ground connection. All buzzers get connected to the Nano's digital pins, some of which will be programmed as ground pins. Next comes the LEDs. We'll trim the pins to give room for the resistors and to give the LEDs different heights as in steps. We'll also trim the pins on all three resistors to connect to the LED's shortened cathode pins. If you don't have a soldering iron, simply twist the resistor pins around the LED pins. They'll sit just about the same. Once inserted into the breadboard and glued together, they should look like this. Now onto the programming of the musical device with the birthday melody code. Let's plug in the Nano to our PC and load up the Arduino IDE. If you don't yet have it, I'll leave a download link below to the software as to the code as well. So under tools, let's check we have the right board selected, the board's bootloader, and its corresponding COM port. Also, you might have to download the Tone Library, link in the description. We can include it simply by going under Sketch, Include Library, and clicking on Add Zip Library. We're going to need the Tone Zip file and select Open. We must also make sure that the pins assigned in the code match what's connected on the Arduino. These are the LED signal pins, and here's where we set the three LEDs ground pins. Down here, let's also check that the three buzzers signal pins and two ground pins are assigned corresponding to what we've connected. Below, we have the rest and most of the code dedicated to producing the polyphonic tunes combining the three buzzers. So after hitting upload, the device should start playing the well-known happy birthday melody. This birthday melody music player wouldn't be complete or portable without its own little battery pack. Taking two of these 50 milliamp hour 3.7 volt lipo cells, let's solder a pair of wires to each and tape them together with strips of Kapton tape. These will be connected in series to achieve a voltage higher than the Arduino's 6 volt minimum input. Then we'll trim and strip the ends of the wires to then get connected to a 4-pin header. These cells seem like they can do with a good charge, and we'll soon make them a charger as well. Next up, let's take a 4-pin female pin header and solder the middle two pins together, forming a series connection. So when the battery pack gets hooked up, it'll become 2 cell with 7.4 volts from these pair of wires we're soldering going to a pair of pins which plug into the breadboard, connecting to the Nano. Let's glue the battery and the connecting adapter to the rear side of the tiny breadboard. If you're feeling a bit lost with the electronics, you may want to refer to this diagram to which I've also left a download link in the description. With a small popsicle stick base, a similar female pin header as we used before, and a couple of TP4056 single cell charging boards, we can form the charging unit for the musical device. Here we'll start off by connecting the charger's 5 volt inputs in parallel with a couple of wires so that both boards get powered from plugging in only one USB power source. 
At the outputs, we'll hook up the battery connection straight to the female pin header like so. As these boards output 1 amp of current, which is too much for the tiny batteries, let's change out the current programming resistors with these two 20k ohm resistors, leaving about 60 milliamps of output current, which is almost perfect. So we can disconnect the battery from the device and plug in the 4-pin header to the charger, turning on its red lights indicating that the cells are individually being charged. These should shine blue when fully charged. Plugging in the cells back into the gadget, we now have a fully charged battery pack of 8 volts and a capacity of 50 milliamp hours, lasting the device 9 minutes of runtime or about 36 song replays. To break things down, we have one buzzer playing the rhythm, one doing the solo, and the other for bass. All three combined form the happy birthday melody with three-way polyphony. Huge shout out to Liss, the creator who first posted this wonderful project on the Arduino Hub. Links below to the project page. And there you have it. Now you can go out and surprise that person who's special to you with your new little creative DIY gift. You may choose to make it in PCB form to make it permanent or give it a little decorative box. The rest is all up to you. Consider to like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. If you really like what you've seen so far and want to show some support towards the production of higher quality content and even more videos, then consider dropping a super thanks through the button below. Thank you guys for watching, stay inspired, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.